No, I was feeling 100%, you know. I saw I was throwing 99, 100 today. I didn't do that early in the season, you know. And I was looking in the pitcher the way I want to. My slider was sharp, and I just did my job. Uh, he also mentioned really liking your sequencing. How much when you know you look at you've got Alvarez back behind the plate, I know you don't like to shake catchers off. How much credit do you give him for the way that you sequenced your pitches tonight? You know, I give a lot of credit to the catcher because they spend almost nine innings caught in there and they, they know the hitter. So why I have to why I have to come in the night and start shaking pitch and, and through whatever I want, you know, I just prefer go with them. And if we win a win if we win we I we win them. If we lost we lost with them. Where do you think that extra velocity came from tonight, back to where you uh, I think I was a little bit hurt my shoulder. You know, those day off I take, you know, work a couple of things, my mechanic, when I came back, you know, those games in minor league helped me. Today I was feeling great. I was throwing the ball the way I want to. My fastball, my fastball build was, was, was great, and the slider location was really good. I just got to keep doing what, what I did today, and we'll be fine. How much were you feeling, or how long before you went on the IL were you feeling anything in that shoulder that might have affected you? Uh, couple days, couple days before, you know, could cause me a little bit to warm up to play catch. You know, I knew something wrong was happening with me, so I I, I just talked to them and we decided to go in the IL, take a couple of day off, you know, and work in my arm and come back. You always been a great fan favorite here. How did it feel to get the reaction from the fans that you got tonight? You no, know, feel great, feel great. You know, as soon as I saw the fans, you know, saw them in music, everyone get crazy. That's what I want. You know, we we got a really good thing if we keep doing what we're doing. You know, the fans help, helping us, like supporting us. We will be fine. What did that 15 day stretch look like for you as far as assessing your mechanics um, with both of your pitches? You know, I just, I just, when I went to the IO, I take, we take like three, four days off, you know, working in the arm strength. And then we start playing catch. As soon as I start playing catch, I start working with Hef and, and Rosado in the mechanics. As soon as I went to minor league, throw up those games, I know they, they was really happy with what I, what I did down there because I was looking my fastball the way they want to. The slider was. You know, good combo with the fastball, and you know, I did the same thing today. Ben, you said you had watched some film with with Hef. Is there anything that you kind of recognized in the, in those sessions? Yeah, I was uh, going side to side instead, go straight to home play. You know, that's I think that was the main thing for me. Now I'm going straight to home play, not like third base to first base. I think if I keep doing that, staying through home play, I would be fine. You had good velocity on the ball, but you also had the late movement on the fastball late on the strike zone. Did you recognize that? Is that something you worked on while you were out? You know, if if like today I was, I feel 100% healthy, you know, and as soon as I threw my first two pitches, I knew I pulled it at the pool. I knew I was feeling great. So I just back it up a little bit and just trying to throw the ball to the catcher. And that's what I did. I saw the ball got a great, great, great life. I was talking to Abby after the game. He told me the ball was good right. And I just was throwing my fastball in the, in the, in the location he won and then throw my slider. I mean, this is uh, one of those days that you had to pitch, you know, for contact, you know. Uh, uh, great pitch to Anderson there to a ground ball out play. Uh, Torrance was really good behind the play. So, you know, we executed some good pitches when we needed to. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that double play in the fourth with Anderson. Just just what are you thinking? What's your approach in that spot with the bases loaded and one out? I mean, just throw one pitch, you know. Uh, the two seams has been really good uh, this year. So I was just thinking, you know, if I make a good pitch here, you know, it's going to be a ground ball out play. And, you know, we're secure that pitch and, you know, we'll get out of that inning. You got some big outs with the sinker uh, today. Is that a pitch that you're growing more and more confidence in as the season goes on? It seems like you're throwing it more. Yes, uh, 100%. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, this, this, I faced this team back in, in, uh, in Miami. Uh, we went sinker heavy. You know, I knew they were looking for it sometimes, but... I knew if we were located good, it can be a not good pitch, we'll get a ground ball. How good was it to see JD with that walk off home run? I mean, uh every time JD is in the play, you know, something good's gonna happen. You know, he got he's just a great hitter, you know, he got a great approach, uh a great guy uh, at the play every time he's there. So, you know, I was really happy. One thing your manager says about pitchers is that having confidence in their stuff. How confident are you in all of your pitches? Because they all seem to be working pretty well. Yeah, I mean, right now, like, you know, in the offseason, I'm working, developing two new pitches. And now, if I go out there and my, you know, slider is not working, I can got my sweeper. You know, it's my change is not working. I got my cutter and my sinker. So just, I got more options that I can go if, uh, you know, some pitches are not working.